Okay. And we're back. <clears throat> and so last time I said we would <clears throat> explore um, Timber Hearth and the Etzel Rock, right? And um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So we kind of in order. Whoa! Hello. Um, let's just shortly land over here. Yikes. Um, because I mean, I mostly wanted to get the jetpack and that. Um, because then we can get to the. Here. Uh, observation platform here because there is we can when we can kind of see what the landmarks are we have the geysers we have the young bar crater that's where the bramble seed was dropped i think the nomad ruins and the quantum grove crater is there anything else no okay uh so these are the four I think let's start with the Numai ruins. I assume that that's just like on mm, Brittle Hollow, the um, whoop, get a little more height, please. Um, kind of a destination for uh, some some teleportation. Because from, yeah, I mean that looks kind of exactly the same, right? <laughs> Bumpy landing, but okay. Yeah, that, that was probably one of the um, teleporters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Most definitely. The quantum moon I'm kind of a bit mad at for being so inaccessible <laughs> um kind of gatekeeping loop um oh <coughs> yeah these are really ruins uh, i don't know really know what to do though yeah maybe okay i'd rather just start from the top to be honest so let's let's get back up and then we can go across and see where that gets us. Into a waterfall apparently. Oh, and through a waterfall. I'm really, really curious. I mean, <clears throat> yeah. Wait, is this? No. These are just rocks. Oh. Mining site 2B. Where are 1 and 2A? <laughs> that is the question here. Mm hmm. Whoa. Kind of dark in here. Oh no. Oh, you know what? No. Okay, I'm kind of lost here. Get me up. Uh, it's very dark in here. Maybe. Nope. That doesn't make it better at all. <coughs> I assume we just. What is that? Just 
have to go in here to get back up. But I don't know where this will lead us. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, you can't go there. Oh, okay, we're further up than we were before, I guess. Holy moly. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, you know, I'm still amazed by how much ore the Ash Twin project requires. Isn't this the ore for the remaining towers being built on the Ash Twin? The completed towers I've seen are quite large. No, the material for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. Wait, what? Ah, from the plant itself, okay. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside Ashtwin's core. What? If they're sealing off all entrances, I hope they've planned accordingly. I thought you had a forbidden uh, you had forbidden of your apprentice from making puns, Coleus. How else would he improve? <laughs> That's a fair point. I like puns actually. Uh, I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use timber hearths or only for constructing the shell. If eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metal metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. Not wrong, Coleus. Not wrong. Although... It seems like the mining capabilities of the um, Harthians are rather limited. Really? R I mean, really? That's just insulting. That's interesting. So apparently there are... Wait, are these shifting? No, okay. Three of them are lit up. And there are one, two, three, four more. Okay, what happened there? Where am I? Um, four more that have not been... Um, activated yet. Whatever that means. Um, Yarrow, my gratitude for the latest shipment, I know. This all should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. This is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check? Specifically mine. <laughs> if my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. We're grateful. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ashtron project could lead to disaster. Once we've finished the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Ramy and I will be checking the interior and then the exterior for cracks. Our final safety check. Okay, so... I mean, obviously they had this... Mm, giant building project um, not only with the gravity cannons and such but also this kind of really um, the Ash Twin I think they I mean it looks like they basically built that from the ground up and apparently the inside of that is this chamber here which is wild by itself but I mean that's the thing we see each time we we die right so that's so fascinating and now I feel like I have to bring all the other protection stones here too uh -huh. <laughs> it's kind of a hard hassle to be honest I'd rather not have to do that. 
Okay, so we have been all the way over there. Let's go down here. Hopefully we can get back to where we fell down. Ah, uh, that would be here, right? Hmm. We haven't really learned all that much, have we? Oh, there are stairs here. <laughs> Whoops. Hmm. Other question is whether there's something in the water down there. I'm not sure. Sure looks like there's I mean they have some good mining going on here. Question is I guess whether there's anything else. Anything but empty empty holes. That's another guy. So no this doesn't go further down. Okay, so that part is kind of done I guess. Huh. I hope I didn't miss anything. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess then we'll just uh, explore the rest of these um, sites on Timber Heart and see what we can do now. I think, in general, it's... Oh, rip. Scratching. <laughs> I was scratching my neck there. Um, I think it's better for us if we just kind of try to um, by the way this also looks like a kind of broken drawn gravity cannon right well uh, anyways what I was going to say is that it seems that it might be a better idea to just visit everything once um, for now and don't go, go through it as thoroughly as I have done so far because I think there's a lot <gasps> okay <Good shit. laughs> um, there's a lot more kind of low hanging fruit here that I haven't um, kind of collected just because I haven't been to all the planets yet right and so my plan now would be to just just go around and see what we can find on first glance. I mean we have we have quite a few kind of fleshed out ideas about what's going on with the yes 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 um, no my but um, you know it it's not like. We definitely don't know everything, right? We also want to go... Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, um, okay, and this is the... Wait, is there another... Oh. Is there another... Kind of can... Um... Looked like there was another thing down there, maybe. Oh, there's a whole lot of ghost metal there. What is this, I wonder? Probably nothing, right? Well, let's cut out there and look, anyways. Um. <clears throat> right. That looks like a tree and one of their scouting ships and then 
Are these here the nomad themselves? Or? I don't know. Hmm. And there was an awful lot of gross matter over there somewhere, right? Let's see when we um, let's go go up with the um, like this, and then hopefully okay, so it's over there. That makes um, this location all the more interesting. Okay, let's not die. Uh, that would be nice. Eh, down here, right? safe over there. Ow. Okay, so... I, hmm. Right, so... Um, <clears throat> I'm not really following my own advice here. <laughs> um, but okay. So let's, let's actually do that then. For now. Because, okay, so um, I think we could kind of um, uh, if we were to what is this? Uh, this is the quantum crater thingy, right? Um, with the knowledge we have already we can probably if we get kind of small bits of information here and there, then we can probably already figure out quite a lot. Wait, don't tell me this is the back of the... The cross old bark in the ancient glade, it's always the, the quiet shade. Eh? What's that supposed to tell me? Okay, um, let's add this both charm. Or is it? Hmm? Okay, this point in different directions. Right, so uh, where are all the, the signs? Okay, so here you can see. No, it's always dark across old bark. What? Okay, so um, oh my lantern. Ready? Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, they said the trees were moving. But where's the tree now? There it is. It's always dark. Nope. It's always dark across old bark. In the ancient clay, the quiet shade. I'm trying to, I mean, um, not only does the stream move, also the order of these um, seems to vary. And I'm kind of trying to figure out what the right order is. Why is that relevant, you ask? I have no idea. 
Uh, in the ancient glade, it's always dark. The quiet shade across old da old bark. Yeah, I mean, maybe. No. Is there anything with this piece? Anything else? Anything on top of it or something like that? Where's the tree again? Ah. Oh. Okay, my, I don't know what. Nope. Web. Okay, let's get down again. And I think there's something. Oh. Um. There's this river going. Uh, up there. Right. Okay. Let's see whether we can, can find anything here. Where does this um, kind of now um, scared of ghost matter, which seems rather abundant. Uh, on Timber Hearth, that is. Um, but I don't know. Uh, sun's always almost my, I mean, almost going down, I guess. Church research notes property of church. I've detected a strange signal coming from somewhere within the grove in this crater. It's very similar to the signal emitted by the quantum moon, so it stands to reason the two signals are probably related. We don't know much about the quantum moon, seeing as no one's ever been able to land on it, but hopefully studying the signal in the grove will reveal more about it. Well... I feel like we still have to just get into the... Um, get into the quantum and uh, tower of quantum knowledge that's that's the one um and i feel like we won't get there from the places we've been so far um but then again maybe i'm wrong that's also possible but that's that's why i'm kind of thinking you know, let's just go places and then we'll see where um, where we find um, stuff. And I want to go down again. Let's roll. Not this much. Ah, oh, okay. Sun won't let me. No, 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 no. Let's at least watch the sun. <sighs> okay, this wasn't as productive as I had hoped it would be. But. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I guess, so we've been to the Quantum Crater, we've been to the um, Nomai Ruins, and we've been to the Dark Bramble Seed Crater, so the only ones missing are the geysers. So we can go there next, and then uh, the dark side of the Atler Rock, I guess. Okay, but um, for now that's that's going to be it. 
I feel like we could achieve more in these episodes, but somehow we're not. So. <laughs> hmm, I don't know. Well, see you in the next one.